The Prime Minister has rejected Imran Khan's accusations of an assassination attempt. The former leader was shot during a protest march in the eastern city of Wazirabad earlier this week. Shabazz Sharif says Imran Khan is damaging the country with false conspiracies. Hundreds of Imran Khan's supporters continue to hold demonstrations across the country. Zain Basravi has more from Lahore. The long march to Islamabad, Imran Khan's political assault on the capital of Pakistan with the political footmen that are loyal to him, that may be on hold for now. But rallies like this one in the heart of Lahore are happening all over the country in support of their wounded leader. They say their wounded captain who is in recovery in hospital in Lahore from an attempted assassination, from an attempt on his life. His party workers are continuing to come out into the street in the last few hours. This crowd has gone from a few dozen to a few hundred, choking this important central location in the heart of Lahore. They are angry. His supporters are angry about the attack on Imran Khan. They are angry that their leader has been shot, and they blame the same people that Imran Khan is holding responsible. In the absence of, of any investigation, of any evidence, they say they don't need it. They blame the same people that Imran Khan is holding responsible. We strongly condemn the attack that has taken place on our Khan, and we strongly demand that every single name he has named arrest them. We won't let corruption happen in our country. We've had a corruption mafia imposed on us. The assassination attempt on Imran Khan was by the army chief and the army. They shouldn't think we don't know. We understand everything. Secondly, if such a famous high-profile individual is not safe here, then how can we expect to be safe? Politics in Pakistan is incredibly murky. It is complex, it, is, it can be ugly, and it can be very dangerous. But one thing is clear, as long as Imran Khan has the ability to bring this many people out into the street in support of his cause, as long as he can bring people in large numbers into the streets of really any city he chooses, he maintains himself as a potent and powerful political force, even out of office in this country. And as long as that is the case, he will continue to be able to corrode from the outside the institutions that he holds responsible for corruption, including the government and, crucially, the military.